What is going on, everybody? We are here with Koozie, Queen Koozie, and we are going to break down BB Can Season 12, week number one. Uh, first of all, I want to say, Koozie, thank you so much for coming on. And Koozie, tell us what's going on. Tell us about yourself and uh, what's going exciting. Yeah, thank you for having me. This is great. This is great. What's been going on with me? Nothing. <laughs> nothing but you know what i'm so excited it's it's a little it feels nostalgic a little bit to watch people in in my house yeah a hundred it's, it's a weird, it's a strange little feeling actually yeah i, I and i don't know how i was gonna feel about it but how did it feel for you that's one of those things and and i and i i 100 remember that it's like the the season after for those that don't know koozie was on last season and uh, it's always the season after when you see people walk into your house and sleep in your bed and they're eating out of your kitchen and they're in your pantry you know it's like that that's my bed you know so i i know it's uh it's it's tough to watch sometimes but uh it gets better i promise yeah but you know what the thing is the house is still the design is still the same mm -hmm. so it literally just looks like they just changed the decor and so it still really feels like oh my goodness this place when i look at the house i'm like oh nostalgia 101 like it's it's beautiful insane. i actually want to talk about that the house is beautiful the house looks really 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 good beautiful yeah, I, I feel like they did a good job. I like the design of it. Obviously, they brought in Anthony and V, which is, um, you know, surprise to, to some people. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? What are, you, what are your thoughts on seeing Anthony and V walk in? Do you think it was good choices? Do you think, uh, what, do you, what do you think? What do you think the road ahead it looks like for them? I feel like they should have added just one more person because it's going to be, I don't know, man. They, they're going to have a tough time actually getting to the end. I want them to get to the end, both of them. But they're going to have a tough time doing that because after a bit, these guys are going to start going after them for sure. Because at the beginning, you know how they made that pact? They went into that little room and they made that pact. Right. They're like, I'm going to take them out. I 100% believe they're going to carry it out. Right now, they're being lenient. Yeah, I agree. As soon as they start using their own people, like right now, everybody's so emotional over the two nominees. It's not going to fly for much longer. Yeah, it's, I it's, it's a half hill for Dougie and, and V. Yeah, I agree 100%. I think it's a very, very, very uphill battle. Uh, and I don't know how, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm cheering for them a million percent. I want to see Dougie win this. Spicy V, I want to see her win too. I want to see them go far. I just, I, you know, I'm 100% in their corner. I just, I don't see a path where they win unless production kind of plays a little bit in their favor, in their corner. You know, that executive veto is there. We still don't even know what it does or when it's going to play. You know, is it designed to save them eventually if they're in trouble? I, I just, I, I am with you. I think I, having the two of them they're always going to be seen as a pair um people know they're friends you know they're seen as a pair they had safety week one so people had to go to them uh this week yeah. they don't have safety safety as far as we know uh they don't have safety so i feel like once their safety's up everyone's gonna be like hey listen guys let's just do the right thing every time returnees come back they always either win or go far or do this or do that uh let's just get them out of here and this is our season and i and i and one thing uh you know i remember season five it's like we it was it was this in season five it was the returnee season and then the, the newbies were just there that's how everyone always looked at it right and 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 i I'm not saying I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that's what people were saying. So it's like, uh, you know, these people on season 12 might be like, hey, this is our season, not their season. Uh, let's get rid of them and let's just play our game. And, and I could see them doing that. I hope it doesn't happen. I want to see Dougie and V go far, but you never know, yeah. you know, and it's, it's it. why I wish I really wish they would have put just one more, just one more person, because with that, even as three of them, it's really possible to take the whole house down. I promise it's possible. If you yeah. have strong three, the house is yours. Like, yeah. Because at this point, even with the newbies, yeah, they'll stick together because they're newbies, but their alliances aren't set yet. People don't know each other. People's true, well, not true. I will never say true because <laughs> that's some rubbish. There's yeah. nothing like, yeah, you showed me your true colors on a game. No. But as the game goes, their defenses either really crumble or really go on, you know, on, on high. And that's where you start to see people, people going against each other. So, Man, I, it's a, it's definitely an uphill battle for for yeah. for Dougie especially. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I think Dougie's going to have a very, very hard time. One, and that's another thing, too, though. He did win HOA. Wait, let's break it all down. So let's start. Okay, let's break it all down. So uh, the, the the 12 guests come in, and some of them immediately are like, hey, there's not enough cups there, and they're talking about it. There's not enough cups. And uh, Tola, I think it was, was talking about that. And then they, you know, all of a sudden, they're going to go there, do their HOH. And V and Dougie come in. And now here's the thing I didn't like is how they come in, and they put them on these, like, thrones. It's cool for aesthetics, but it also mentally, it puts them in this other spot. You can't do that. You're, you're literally putting a spotlight on them. Like, yo, these are the thrones and they're sitting there watching over everybody. 
Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like it just wasn't, it, it just, it doesn't help the cause. I don't know. It just, it puts them on a different level where everyone's kind of looking at them. And I know D- Dougie's a big guy. He's a very big guy. He, he's someone that you're going to notice if he's not around. He's big. He's got that presence. Um, by the way, big shout out Dougie. Man. I love the guy, man. He's amazing. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's amazing, man. But um you know, I don't know. And then and then the whole HOH part where it was like they're only playing for safety. I don't know where, where production's going with this. Like imagine doing an endurance comp. What's that, sorry? I think I think I can understand where they were going because it's very obvious that Dougie and V were gonna be like this, right? Yes, hundred percent. That HOH competition where it's like split between between the two was definitely gonna cause some degree of friction between the two of them right from the beginning, right? Because Spice wanted Dougie to throw it. Dougie's like, yeah, that doesn't sound like it's a great idea to me, right? Mm-hmm. So immediately, they are, even though they're still saying, oh, we're together, we're together, already, they've already, there's already a divide there. So I think they were trying to wedge that, that divide, and I think it was the perfect, perfect, Big Brother knew what they were doing. I, I feel yeah. like I, I see, I see it. I now, there. now, when you were when we're talking, you're like, what about the first HOH when the newbies played to pick their yeah. team? Now, what what now, now? Here's the thing: they did an endurance comp, right? And whoever wins gets yeah. to pick their team in the order and stuff like that. Uh, I thought that was kind of weird. Like, if you win, you pick your side. But like, I don't know. I, I didn't. I don't know. I don't know how how, how I like that. I did like the one where it was uh, Dougie versus V. I liked that a lot. I thought that was really cool. Uh, and here's the thing: when I was watching it, because I was watching, there's a bunch of us who were watching it together in, in our community, and uh, and uh, immediately I said the. The, the way to play this is you just keep putting like for Dougie you kept putting up Donna that's the way to do it oh my how didn't they notice I would have known right away I'm like no 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 yeah. you not see the pattern after the second after the second time they should have caught on that's they what I said on right away. yeah like, it, it just it didn't make sense for him to just keep picking Donna unless it was a strategy it yeah. was so obvious I am livid that they didn't get it it's like yeah that's what I said I mean, too. Offense, and, and I think V tried to use the same thing with, with Tola. And and I am um, I feel bad for him because he somewhat took offense to it. I can yeah. see it on his face. Like he's like, What? Does she really think? But I think V was trying to play the same thing. And maybe she saw the reaction on their faces. And maybe Dougie too, because Dougie ended up switching his tactic. Or maybe people were just not catching on. I don't know, but I don't know how they. That's what I said after the like you said after the second one, maybe the third, but for sure by the third, you should be like, okay, he's telling us he's going Donna. I was irritated. I was irritated in that moment for sure. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And I'm glad you brought up the thing too, where it's like where where V came in and she was like, hey, uh, throw the comp, and Dougie's like, hey, she's like, I got to put up two guys, and and Anthony's like, "Uh, that's not gonna work. So here's the thing. Here's. Yeah, here's the thing, right? Like he knew, and everybody knows there's this girls thing going on, right? So every time. yeah, every it, it's always a thing, right? And then V told him, uh, or he knows that it's a girls. There's a girls thing, and then for V to tell him, hey, I want to put up two guys. He's thinking, listen, that doesn't work for me because we got all these girls coming together. I need those numbers to protect me. Like we can use this to protect each other. We knock everybody out and then we worry about the rest. But she's like, no, I want two guys. And then he's like, mm, no, I can't let that fly because then he's like at a huge disadvantage, uh, which I already think he is. Now, I want to talk about the the safety because they both come in with one week of safety. Do you think that's enough? Do you think that's too much? Do you think they need more? Uh, what are your thoughts on the on the safety? You know what? I think I think it's fair. I think one week is fair enough because by that time they would have probably gotten into somebody's head. And also, there's there's chances at competitions. They know how this game goes. Mm-hmm. They know they've got the experience. So the experience, it, it, the experience itself is a cheat, not mm-hmm. a cheat, but it's like no. a, a cheat code for them, right? Mm-hmm. These people don't know how it goes. These people don't know the sleep deprivation. They don't know the you know everything that it is to but. V and Dougie came prepared. Mm-hmm. So that preparedness already gives them an advantage somewhat. And that safety, like I think it's I think it's fair enough. One week is good. Yeah, I, I'm with you on that. I, I actually agree with you. I think I think more than one week is too much. I think if they didn't have safety, that would have kind of been, you know, they would have probably seen the door you know, on the way out. I was worried about I was worried that they were gonna give her uh, them safety the way that they get, gave uh, Neda safety. Because that, mm. that screwed her over. Because yeah. as soon as that was over, boom, they lined her up, right? That's what it is, yeah. Exactly what they were going to do to 
to, to Vian Dagi. That's the thing with those long-term safeties. Like we said, like Netta had, it's like, it's a ticking time bomb. People are just yeah. waiting for it to go. And as soon as it's gone, cause they don't have to worry about her, but as soon as it's gone, it's like, all right, this is our moment. Let's do it. Let's get rid of her. Yeah. Um, I, I agree. The comfortability that you will sit in that you just can't avoid, right? You have nothing to worry about for, for like a, a, a couple of weeks. Mm-hmm. And with that, people see it. It's, it's, it's evident. It's there. They'll get irritated by it and they'll line you up nicely. Yeah. hundred percent. So, yeah, yeah I, I agree. I think the one week is good. I think it's 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 long enough. Because like you said, they have experience. That's one thing you can't buy in that house. I, I have experience going back to when I went in, I knew what it was like on day one already. I knew what it was like on day five and day 10, where these players, these new players are going in and they're going, oh, look how cool this is. Like, there's a bed. Look, blinded by the light. A hundred. They're blinded by everything. They're still at these like, oh, I, I want to know about your cat. Tell me about your cat. You know, like yeah. Dougie and V are, they're past that. They're coming in, feet on the ground. They're like, all right, let's, let's make our moves, you know? Ready. Yeah, so it, they're definitely at a different space, which I think can work for them, and I think it can also work against them because these players, while they're trying to get to know people, you know, Dougie and V are in game mode, and it's like, all right, you know, we don't need to get to know them. This is what we're gonna do. This is our soldier. We're gonna get this person out by doing this. So it can it can work against them in blindly uh, against them, but it can also work for them where it's like they have that experience. So um, one thing I want to talk about with with Dougie, I think you know him winning HOH. I mean, he didn't really have a choice. Either he was gonna win or he loses. It was fifty. 50 right kind of thing you know in theory um but it was either him or not right but um you know how did he how did he deal with it how did he how was his hoh did he did you think he he made the best of it do you think he made the most of it do you think he made connections or do you think he kind of like you know separated himself how do we think he did his hoh this week i think with dougie hey me personally let me take myself out of the game if i was in there duh i would be trying to do this sister alliance of course. Why? Because it's going to keep me safe. Mm-hmm, 100%. To tell you the truth, I feel like a girl's alliance might only work with... It, it, it won't work with everybody. 100. Somebody yeah. will let you down. Somebody mm-hmm. will let you down. Somebody will forget exactly what they came for. Yep. And they'll start doing googly eyes for, for the boys in the house. Or they'll get distracted <laughs> somehow. Yep. Right? In, I, either it's emotions. But one thing about Dougie, I can see that he checked his emotions at the door. Mm -hmm. He is on beast mode. He's there to play. He is there to play. And he cares about nobody's feelings. He's here to eat. Yep. hundred percent. Right? And that's the thing. Like he, he already played and got voted out. This is his second chance. A lot of people don't get that. It's, he's got to make it like he's, mm-hmm. he's operating with, with that mindset that I've got, this is my shot. I've got to make it mm-hmm. like, you know, so I, I can see that and I appreciate it so much. I feel like he handled his first HOH pretty, pretty good. I don't know about putting up Avery because I feel like she might go home. Why? Because I feel like uh, Janine, Jane, I I like her as a player. I feel like the girls might see her as more combative, like more of a combative go get a player. And they might figure out that Dougie and Avery might have a little thing. If he announced, he announced that she's a pawn. He shouldn't have. I know. He shouldn't have done that. I don't know why he did that. That sold it. That sold the whole thing. They're going to save Janine because they obviously um going to figure out that he thinks Janine is the bigger threat of the girls. Yep. That's that's what I'm saying too. So I was I was on the stream last night we were talking about this and that's what I said. I said, you know, the fact that he said that she's the target and that Avery's the pawn or whatever. If I'm in the house and I'm just putting myself in there and I'm taking my experience out of there. It's like, well, Here's the thing, you know, he obviously wants Janine gone for a reason. Avery's the pawn for a reason. Avery's a better competitor. Why don't we just get rid of her? Like, this is it. Janine's, you know, all for the girls or whatever it is. She's going to be a target. You know, obviously Anthony wants her out. She's going to want Anthony out. Let's use that and push forward. I agree. So I, I, the fact that he he publicly mentioned it, I think it could. I don't know if it will, but I think it yeah. could work again. There's a possibility. If, if someone in there is awake saying, hey, listen, he, yeah, he wants her gone. Why don't we keep her? If there's one thing that I would be doing in that house is studying every single word that V and Dougie say. Mm-hmm. Because the last thing, the one thing that I know, those guys are going to work together no matter what. 100%. Until they have to go against each other. Mm-hmm. So I would be watching. I don't believe V's tears. I don't believe Avery's tears. If I was watching that, I would have been so offended. Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys are playing in my face. Yeah. What are those tears? You're just being told that you're a pawn. Why are you crying like that? Yeah. You know? Yeah. It was, it was too much. It was definitely too much. It was a lot. It was a lot. I can tell those are fake tears. Yeah, it was a lot. 
It was a lot. Yeah. But that's the thing. So, and I agree. And I'm glad you brought that up because I would 100%. This is like, that's one of those moments where, like, guys, let's flip it. It's week one. Who cares? Let's just flip it. And, and obviously, you know, and, and how it works too. And you know how it works. I mean, obviously, uh, it's, it's like when someone's a, a target and the HOH says, hey, this is my target. Well, you know, obviously, most people are going to be like, oh, let's vote her out. But if you're like, hey, listen, the, as soon as that veto box closes, we don't know what happens with veto yet, at least publicly, uh, what happens with veto, right? As soon as that veto box closes, the HOH goes from having all the power to no power. Now they have, they can't nominate anybody else. They can't replace it with anybody else. They can't even play in the HOH next week. They have no power. So once that veto box closes, that's when everyone gets together and says, hey, listen, you know what? He wants Janine gone. If we keep Janine in the house, every breath she brings breathes in this house is because of us. Who is she going to be loyal to? Us? Or Anthony, and if you want to start making an army against Anthony, this is where you start. You by, start by saving his target and using it against him next week because he can't even play. Now, obviously, I want Anthony to do well. I love the guy; he's my boy. But you know, I'm just saying. Hopefully, it doesn't. Hopefully, I'm not putting it out there. Hopefully, you know, I mean, we're not. But you no, know, Bruno, I feel like this is really gonna turn into boys versus girls. Because if a mm-hmm. girl wins, trust me, two guys are going up there right away. Absolutely, no pawning anybody else. It's going to be two guys right away. And one of those guys is definitely going to be Dougie because he's at that point, there's no safety to it. And if, yeah, it's going to be tough for him yeah. in, the, in the next next week here. I, I agree. I, I truly believe he's in danger this week. Or like yeah. he's in danger very soon, and and that's and let's be honest, he's not good at winning HOHs. That's not what he's known for. He's not a, he's not someone that wins competitions. Uh, maybe he's going to do better this year. We don't know, but I, I have a feeling he's going to be in a lot of danger this year. But do you know what? If these people are, if these these girls are awake, mm-hmm. what's going to happen is if Janine goes home, who's next? Taylor, Lex, Bailey, all of those girls that that look like they can carry a competition, mm-hmm. they're being lined up. If they're smart, Janine is the one to keep. Mm-hmm. Because she's she's in there, for, you know, for games too. And I know Avery is in there too, but she's on Dougie's side. Yeah, and that's the thing is Janine's very, uh, you know, she's she's all about the big sisters. That's all she talks about. That's all, you know, so they know that that she has their best interests. So why would they want to get rid of her when she's 100%? Let me tell you something that I agree with as well. I 100% agree with Spice throwing the girls under the bus. Why? Because they're going to come for her. Yeah, for sure. They, yeah. they will not let her get to the end at yeah. all, ever. For sure. They will take each other to the end first before Spice. So I 100% uh, agree with her telling Dougie mm-hmm. about the whole big sister thing. I, I don't know if she mentioned it by name, but she definitely yeah. mentioned it. I don't know if she mentioned it, but she told, uh, yeah. I agree because no matter what, she's a target. Throw it up, deflect it to somebody else. I would do the exact same thing. Yeah, she's a target in one way or another. It, it doesn't matter. And, and actually, you brought up a good point. I want to bring that up. To, I want to talk about that too, is how you said, you know, an all-girls alliance doesn't work. Just You can't just bring everybody in. It doesn't work that way. Uh, you know, there's always going to be people that stray or like you said, you know, might, might fall for a guy or just doesn't want to be a part of a girls alliance, whatever it is. Yeah. If you want to make, and this goes for any future players, if you want to make an all-girls alliance, th- the thing is you grab three, four girls that you actually like, like that you yeah. actually want to work work with you can't just work with someone because they're a girl it doesn't work that way because what if you guys just clash what if you guys don't think the same it's the clashing the yeah of personalities the the different things that happen in the house like you you don't know the conversations that you hear maybe someone will say something off tune and you'll get a you know a catch of that and then now it's war and then mm-hmm. girls boom on the ground and they clash you choose your people and, and people clash yeah 100 percent. people it, it will happen it will happen. Oh yeah. So that's what I worry about a like an all inclusive girls alliance. I wish it would happen, but it's proved it's never gonna it just can't. Like if you try to get every girl yeah, if you try to get every girl in the house, it's just not going to work. There's always going to be one, two, whatever that are just like, you know what? I like this guy or I'm just playing my own game or they just spill it. Like it, it's just never, you can't just get everyone together just because they're girls and expect it to work. It's just, yeah. it just doesn't work. It's just not. I speak this. I, I speak this. It's going to, maybe some people won't like <laughs> this, but I say it out of experience. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. I tried it too. I, I, I looked for the girls alive <laughs> there too, but I noticed things that happened. And they happen, just as I'm saying. So don't come in. Yeah. No, and that's it. Like we're, we're, and that's the thing. We're talking from experience here too. It, it just, it's just reality. We got to be honest with the situation. That's the reality. You know, you have seven girls in there. Some of them never even watched the show before. They don't know what they're getting into. And they're like, yeah, girls lines, I'll be in there. Then they go in the next room. They're like, hey, by the way, you know, I'm in this. They don't know what they're doing and they spill things. And, and, and that's just the way it is. What do you think of Spicy V's game? What do you, how do you think she's doing right now? You mentioned how she told Dougie and I, I liked, I think she was a good idea too. What do you think about Dougie, about Spicy? Yeah. 
I I want I want Spice to do well. I really want her to do well. I feel like it's a tougher battle for her than for Dougie. Why? Because um, I feel like she might say the wrong thing. Oh yeah. At one time, and somebody will be listening enough to have caught it, right? Or or she might. You know, she's on an acting gig right now. She is acting oh, the hell out of her life. Yo, Oscar all the way. One time, somebody's going to catch it. Somebody's going to clock it, and it won't be good. But the thing is, with V, she is she's ready for all the smoke. And that's oh, yeah. what I love to see. I love a relentless player. Yeah. If you, you've hung out with V before, you know, you know V? Yes. She's like, wonderful. She's she, wonderful. Like, yeah. she's, she's fun exactly like that. I think her character doesn't switch. She doesn't switch character. You yeah. Know? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course, she's in game mode right now, but it's very much, it's very much V. And I just, I love the way she plays because she's unapologetic. Hundred percent. Like I, like, I know V. I know her very well, and yeah, you know her too. And she is yeah. wild. Like she is. And, and here's the thing. Like right now, she's she's definitely putting on. She's doing a really good act. Yeah. She's on her best behavior. But like we know V. It's it's she can't no, keep this. Yeah. Had I been in the house with her and had a conversation, and if she was lying to, I would know. I would be oh like, yeah. And you know she can't keep this up forever. Like, no. give it another week or two, and she's gonna be unhinged. Like, she's just gonna be like, it V's coming out. You know what I mean? I can't wait. I cannot yeah. wait. But let me tell you something about Dougie. Hey, I feel like in order for it's it's a it's an uphill battle for Dougie and V. Mm-hmm. Sorry, it's an uphill battle for them. But the number one thing that they should do is make humongous targets out of themselves. Why? Because they need to sell the the the, the point that if I'm gone, if I'm me, the biggest target is gone. Who's next? next? Yeah. Well, that's the thing. You look at Tola and Vivek. They've been, you know, they're apparently their names are getting thrown around a little bit. Um, yeah, it, it's it's one of those things. It's like uh, the faster I'm gone, the faster you're the target. And that's, it's, yeah, exactly. So all that point, drive it home to everybody individually. Mm-hmm. And that will kind of shake them in their individual boots, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, if you say to a, a crowd of people, they'll discuss you when you get out. But, you know. One thing, one thing I've noticed with Dougie, uh, with his HOH, is he's not talking to people. And now, again, we're only getting the dailies. We're not getting the... Yeah. Actually, you were the first season of the dailies. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we were. Yeah. Oh, the dailies. Yeah. Are you watching them by chance or no? I, I am. Actually, I am watching. I haven't caught up because, um, well, I don't know. Did they just start them again today? I watched. I was caught up right away. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right to the, to the very end until they stopped and they, uh, they were... So I'm, I haven't watched today's, which would be Monday, and I haven't watched on Friday. So I'm, I'm too behind, but we'll get caught up. We'll get caught up. Mm-hmm. But uh, that's the thing. So the dailies, right? We see what we see, and, and it is what it is. Um, yeah. One thing I'm noticing on the dailies, unless you know today's is different or whatever, but uh, I noticed Dougie, never, he's never in a group. He's always trying to do these one-on-ones. I don't know if that's good or bad. I, I could almost see it as bad because if you think about it, um, you know, if people come and, and, and see, oh, Dougie's doing a one-on-one with, let's say, Elijah, and then Elijah leaves and he goes and does a one-on-one with, let's say, I don't know, Bailey or Tola or whoever, everybody knows they're talking to him. And it's like, well, what, what are you guys talking about? You know, like somebody's going to be like, you know, if you and I are in an alliance, uh, Kuzi, if we're in the house and we're in an alliance and you go talk with Dougie and we're just sitting down shooting the shit and we're like, yo, what, what, what's Dougie saying to you, man? What's going on? And you're like, oh, he's saying this. What I notice is he says the exact same thing to everybody. Yeah. You know, I was, my game is all about trust, which is right. His game last time was all about trust, but you got to know people are going to expect that. And then he says, if I'm in a room and, and you're not in the room, I'm going to defend you. If you're in a room, I expect you to defend me. He has said that exact same spiel to everybody. As soon as people start crossing notes, they're going to be like, well, he said that to you. Well, he said that to you. He said that to me. Oh, well, he said that to me too. And it's going to be like, all right, well, who's he really honest to? And who is he really trusting? And I feel like it's going to crumble a lot faster because he's saying the exact same spiel to everybody, uh, which is unfortunate because, I, you know, I, again, I want to see this guy win. I just, I feel like as soon as people start crossing notes, he's going to get caught up. But he is already a big target anyway. So I, I don't know. It's tough. Do you, do you think they'll cross that note? That particular note? I don't know because I'll tell you. Everything that's said in the house. There's so much that's said in the house. Mm-hmm. They'll, they'll think of that nose to cross. I, I, I'm, I, I'm hopefully doubting. <laughs> My doubt has got hope. And do you know what? I feel like, I feel like it's smart to do that because just from watching, you know, other people handle the HOH. Like let's say Santina. Santina was first HOH, mm-hmm. and what happened? There was a group collective. Mm-hmm. That group collective served somebody else's best interest, yep. not hers. So I feel like Dougie, because he checked his feelings at the door, he's trying to do a, you know, those one-on-ones to to secure himself in those one-on-ones. Because as a group, like I said, if you talk to people as a group, you leave, they will discuss you. Mm -hmm. If two 
people know the same secret, they will discuss you with that secret. But if you tell them individually, then it's it, they'll keep that secret because they think that they have your trust. And right. I hope that like they're probably looking up, looking up to him right now. So right, right, right now, now he's getting, he's, mm -hmm. yes. So he's using the right now before they start. It, he becomes sour in their mouth. He's using the sweet. Mm -hmm. Oh, it'll work for it'll work for now. I just I I, I hope it works. So now it's it's okay, but yeah, you know, and especially because he's in trouble for the first three weeks. Yeah, yeah. the so first now, bit. Yeah. But, it's okay. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I, I don't know where he sits. Like that's that's what I'm like. You know, HOH is a good chance for you to build either relationships or groups, getting alliances or whatever. I haven't heard anybody. I mean, I know he's has, has a couple on the go or one or two or whatever, but it just seems like I don't know his positioning in the game. Like, where does he would, sit? Would you jump to 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 create an alliance at this early? If I wouldn't create one, but if someone came up to me and said, Hey, listen, you know, there's like a few of us here and we were talking, we want to get you in here. I would say yes. I mean, am I loyal to it? I mean, I, I don't know them, you know, I mean, yeah, sure. Throw me in there, man. Like, let's go yeah. get me in that alliance. But you know, right now he's not, he's not, uh, uh, an inactive bystander. He is the head, right? Oh, hundred yeah. percent. Not everything that he's saying, people are taking it literally. Now, if he pledges his allegiance to a particular group of people, when those groups are now clashing, where is he going to stand? No, for sure. For sure. I, I think things are going to start clashing dangerous. soon. Yeah. Dangerous way you, to even like try to solidify any groups or solidify himself in any groups because he's expecting, you know, those people will be expecting that from whatever, from now on, because they went with his plan, he owes them something. Do you think, do you think he's playing at a good pace? You think he's playing a little too fast? You think he should be playing this fast? You think he should slow it down? Like, where is he standing? It looks, it looks fast because we get the edited version. Right. I think, I think he's seasoned enough to know, to know, to be steady. Yeah. That's a thing. Cause, and again, you know, this is day, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever it is. And he has that experience. He's been there already for 60 days or whatever. It's been last, the last time he made it all the way to the end. So he knows what it's like to make it all the way through. Uh, he is seasoned. He is experienced where the, again, these people are coming in and they're just like, Oh, look how cool the, the, the bathrooms are. Oh, wow. We finally get to see a competition. Like they're just like, <laughs> they're in a different world right now. And he's already like four steps ahead. I just hope he doesn't trip. You know, I, hope he can keep those steps ahead kind of position people where they want you know where people are still trying to get to know each other's names you know well where are you from again how many you know brothers and sisters whatever it is do you have he's already like planning their demise so he is at a different place in the game i just hope he doesn't miss the basic things because sometimes you know just talking to someone about their family you know could go a little further than you know just going up to someone hey let's get this person out and talk game sometimes they're just like fuck you know i just want to sit and talk about you know just regular stuff for a day some people, yep. me personally, I mean, I'd rather just like, let's get to the chase, but you know, some people they'd, they'd rather connect and, 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 you know, where I, I don't see him doing a lot of those. We saw a couple on the episode, but a lot of the one-on-ones I see with him in, in the dailies is just strictly game talk. And this is what you got to do. And, and he's, it's like, he's coaching people. And I hope, I hope he doesn't teach people too much because if he teaches them too much, they're going to learn how he plays and they're gonna be like, all right, this I, is how this guy thinks. I hope he's teaching them the game that he wants them to play. And then he can kind of stay ahead of it. That'd be great. Right? Because, mm -hmm. yeah. I hope he's doing that. Because if he's selling his own game, then that's, that's for real dangerous. But I, you know, when I was playing, I, I, I was, my tactic was to tell people the truth. Tell people exactly what's going on, but leave out, you know, just like twist it and bend it to suit them. For, like absolutely. Them. Yes, Absolutely. Right? It's, they don't need to know everything. When it comes out, there's nothing for you to deny. You just mm -hmm. can tell them the full truth. Yeah, 100%. Somebody else, a little bit of, an, of another part that suits them too. So I think he's doing exactly that. And I think it's, it's going to keep him safe, hopefully, if somebody that is Team Janine does not get the next HOH. Who do you, who do you think he's in? Okay, if, if, who do you think if like this person wins, yeah. he's in trouble? And like... I think there's a lot of people that would put him up. I think if as soon as somebody wins next week, I think a lot of people are going to be like Dougie, Dougie, Dougie. Like his name is going to be thrown out there like crazy. Um, who do you think if they win, he's safe? Obviously, uh, you know, Spicy V, maybe Avery. Yeah. Who else? Like who? Who is he tight with? I don't even know. Like I know V, obviously, and Avery. I think. Yeah. I think uh, everybody else he's he's neutral with, but should. Janine survive and get that HOH, Dougie is toast. 
hundred percent. He wins unless he wins um, the veto. Bailey too. Bailey, I, I've been calling this from the beginning, and I hope I'm wrong. I feel like Bailey is going to be the one to take Anthony down. That, that's what I, I've been saying it since the beginning. She is the one that's going to take him down one way or another, and, and I hope I, I want to see him win. Like I just want to make it very. I want this guy to win, but I, you know, I got to be realistic here. And it's a very, very, very. If he wins this season, my mind will be blown because it's a huge uphill battle from day one. Um, and you know, and, and I feel like uh, uh, Bailey is the one that's gonna one way or another. She's gonna do something that that makes sure he goes home. Uh, and, and I feel like if Bailey doesn't get him fast enough, he's gonna get her. Yeah, that's gonna be the that's I I, I could see it being the battle. I can absolutely the battle. Who do you think is playing the best right now, and who do you think is playing the worst? Huh? I think I'm gonna go with um, who's sitting who's sitting the most. You know, like Goose. Goose, yeah. <laughs> he's people love him. You like that? I love that guy. Mm -hmm. I think I think he could really sit pretty, pretty far in the game. Who's gonna want to take him out? Right, and that's what happens. That's what, reason, unless he becomes yeah. messy. If he becomes yeah. messy, mm. but right now he's just the sweet character that mm -hmm. you just want in the house. You know, like yeah, I, I I for sure would not take him out. So I think he's he's probably sitting prettiest. Um, everybody else has got. A lot of fight in them, a lot of drive to want to make a name for themselves. And I I, I kind of don't like how that sounds, but I can see what they're doing. They are they're they're playing for that stamp, you know. Mm -hmm. They're playing for their mark. Oh, there's and, definitely some that are in there trying to do it for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. so with that, a lot of times when you're playing to make a mark, you 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 start to lose yourself. I can tell I can say that by from example. It's like I feel like the second time that I was HOH maybe power got into my head a little bit you know mm. i was like okay let me line up just the big players the big players that was, that was where my mindset was you know um but i i feel like that's where my my thinking should have switched like now it happens players yeah because that's like and i'm glad you brought up elijah because here's the thing mm -hmm. a, a lot of times in the early game the players like you know janine or elijah might be an easy target to get out yeah. but then what happens is you know you get to week three four five and there's these like established big players now that have the power. That's usually, in, in my opinion, when those players start getting knocked off. It's the middle of the game. The bigger players go because it's like, yo, we got to get rid of these guys before you know they get all the power or whatever it is. Or they're, yeah. they're, they have too much power. Or this is our chance to get them out. And the players like the Elijahs or you know if Janine is still there or whatever those are the players that it's like well I'm not going to waste you know quote unquote waste my HOA to take out Elijah when I can take out I don't know Tola or you know Dougie or whatever you know what I mean and then next thing you know it's like oh I can't waste my HOH on Elijah next week I can't waste my HOH on Elijah well a week goes by I can't waste my HOH on Elijah next thing you know it's final three or final two guess who's sitting in the final two it's Elijah so and guess who I'm voting for Elijah because so I want to see him win. <laughs> it would make my heart happy yeah. So that's what I mean. Like these, the players like that. If they can get deep enough in the game, people, you know, and, I, and I'm saying, I don't want to waste my HOH. Everybody has an equal slice of that pie. Everyone has an equal chance to win. And, you know, uh, but if you don't take those players out, there's, they're the ones staying at the end while you're in jury or preach, whatever it is, you know, you're at home. Yeah, who, who do you think is sitting, sitting nice? Honestly, I think Goose, I think, is doing a good job. I just, I feel like he might be disposable. Um, who else is doing good? It's hard. You know what? Dennis, in a weird way, I don't know, man. In a weird way, Dennis, uh, Spicy V right now is in a good spot, but I think, you know, that's going to crumble eventually. Um, who else is there? Todd is, I mean, I don't even know if they even know he's there. You know, they're like, who's this guy? They don't even know. I know Todd is in a, you know. Um, What's that guy's name? Matt? I, I don't know. I think I think Matt, again, I haven't watched the last two dailies, so I don't know what the, the feel in the house is. But I feel like he's a he's a decent talker. I don't know if it's still like because it's still the first week. It's like there's fluff and maybe people don't connect with him, you know. Uh I feel like he's okay. Uh Tola, I feel like people don't like him very much. Uh Vivek, Vivek, I like. Vivek was my guy. Actually, you know a fun fact, Kuzi? I don't know if you know this. You were my pick. Uh, preseason really? on you were my pick you were my pick preseason it's there's uh, i have my video out there man i can prove it now yeah? uh you were my pick yeah uh vivek's my pick this vivek and tola were my two picks this season yeah. i had a hard time picking between them um i, I like vivek i do i, I think he's going to be in danger uh, a little bit tola I, I know people don't like him very much bailey to me uh if she can tone it a little bit like control things a little bit i, I feel like she has the the social uh, real estate, but I don't think she's using it properly. She's very like, she's just so, 
um, intense. I don't know what the right word is. Again, I haven't watched the last two, so I don't know what's I, happening. But I definitely understand what you what you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, with Bailey, I I know she is a she's she's a really big fan of the show, so she yeah. knows how this goes. I was surprised to see her crying or like upset or, or triggered by um, yes and and Dougie having a, a conversation or. Or just like them being together and gaming or whatever they were doing. Mm -hmm. I was surprised to see how how hard that hit her. I I, I don't know the full context of it. Exactly. Um, yeah. But then but then also game wise, um, I don't know what the conversation was, but just from what I saw, just game wise, I feel like I feel like I'm not I'm not I'm not seeing what she's doing yet. I agree with it. I agree. I don't know if she's starting I'm expecting big things from Bailey. Mm -hmm. But I'm not seeing what she's doing yet. Yet, it's, um, yeah. I can see with with Lex, big Lexus. Oh, Lexus! Um, yes, I forgot about Lexus. Yes, yes. She's also she's got a good position. Her and Donna, Donna. I like Donna. I do like Donna. I, like Donna. I yeah. do like Donna. What she's gonna do? I'm excited to see yeah. to see her play. Yeah, I do like Donna. I, you know, I'm not in this. No disrespect. I forgot about Lex. I legitimately forgot about Lexus. I, I haven't seen her in the dailies much, and and she wasn't on the show. I totally forgot. But you know what? She has a really good. I like her. Um, I don't know if it's personality. What do you want to call it? But her composure. That's what it is. Her composure. She see. I love it. Oh, yeah. She doesn't yap yap too much. Yeah. She's just. And that's, like and that's another thing too. I know people think, oh, because they're not on the show, they're not doing much or whatever. To me personally, if, the, if you're not on the show in the first, and I'm the same way, when I played, I was barely in the episodes the first week. It, it just, yeah. that's when people are just kind of making those little connections, getting your claws in. Once I know once I get my claws in, it's over, but that's you got to give me that chance to get those claws in. If I get those claws in, nobody's getting out, you know? So, um, but yeah, maybe that's what she's doing. You know, maybe she's just. Oh, I think so. I, I like how she's, um, yeah, she's very low maintenance right now nothing, mm -hmm. nothing nothing about her there's nothing that's making me question her game or anything like that so i would definitely i would i would i would almost pick her as my friend yeah you know i, I think she's in a good spot right now i don't see anybody targeting her i you know she's not there's nothing like there's nothing nobody's talking about her like, that we know of anyway um and I, I feel like yeah she's in a good spot for us and bailey it's funny because of bailey preseason she was like my least favorite bailey was my least favorite i was like if she Bailey, I said, she's going in like, cause her bio was all, uh, Bailey's bio was all like, you know, all in this. And I was like, if she goes in with that attitude, you know, people aren't going to put up with that, especially with knowing Anthony's in the house. And, you know, so I was like, but, but then she's in there and I like the way she talks to people again, yeah. you know, like I, I, she's the one I flipped the most on. I, I like Bailey more watching her than I did preseason, which is kind of weird. Cause I think a lot of people did the opposite. Yeah. I think with, with those intros, I actually never fully trust them because 100, yeah. It's, it's uh, you know, they, and Big Brother's editing team, I've never seen magicians like that. <laughs> they yeah. will turn something, like, some, some moments in the house where I thought, eh, we're so boring. The way they spun us, not that they spun it, but they took the best, moment, they know how to capture the best of everything, mm -hmm. you know, and source it into one. And so I feel like they do that for, uh, for like the, you know, the, um, the bios you know. and, yeah. and, and so I don't really go off the bios because some people might seem arrogant. Some people might seem like they're too, you know, they're coming up too strong. Mm -hmm. Um, and maybe that's just like their personality exaggerated. Yeah. Right? That's a hundred percent what it is. Yeah. I, always wait. I will never bet on somebody just from the, the intros alone. I, yeah. I, I need to, I need to see this person. I, people will shock you. People yeah. That's a, which point. that's one of the things too and and, and I, I always talk about this it's like the bios nobody's there like you can be what you want to be you can say what you want to say you can do whatever you want and they're going to run with it because they want that they want yeah. it to be exciting so yeah. i agree i agree i know the bios it just gives you an idea of, of what they like how they talk whatever but you're never going to get an idea of how they play uh and what they're going to do in the house and that's another thing too with these bios they can be as confident as they want you know in their mind they can be the most athletic, the smartest, the the most popular, the, the whatever it is. But once you go in that house and you're face to face with everybody else that has that same mindset, like, no, I'm the most athletic or I'm the most social or I'm the most, it, it's a reality check. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. So no, I agree. Uh, I, I, what do you want to see this week? What do you want to see happen? Who do you want to see home, uh, go home? Uh, what do you want to see happen uh, at the end of this week? For the sake of Dougie's game, uh, I would like to see Janine go home, but for the sake of Janine's game, I feel like Janine has so much game in her. I feel like it, it would be such a loss to lose her first week. 
Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm like Janine needs to go because uh, after this, this she, she's coming in hot. Yeah, there's, there's no way that he's ever gonna survive anything as long as Janine is in the house. I have the exact same thought as you, where it's like I want for the game purpose, I want Avery to go because that's more exciting and that's the right move. Um, for Anthony's game, because again, Matt's my boy. I can't, you know, I, I you know, uh, I want Janine to go because she's in his way and is going to put a target on him, uh, going for, but I got to say about Janine, I'm a little bit surprised. Again, we don't know what everything, but, uh, I've never seen her talk to anybody other than the big sisters. Every time you see her on the feet, I again, I haven't watched today's or Friday, so that could be different as of now. I don't know. But uh, before that, it was like, she was only in the bathroom with the girls, uh, everywhere she went, it was talking about the girls 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 you know how this game works you kind of have to go around and, and you have to connect with with everybody even if you're not working with them you gotta at least talk a little bit and maybe give someone a chance to speak because you know it, it's it's so obvious uh, it's it's obvious because they came in i i feel like they set that girls alliance hard and fast and and loud it was so evident oh yeah so Right now, I feel like maybe there's, there's maybe like nervousness to try to explore the other side and try to, you know, vouch for safety. So she's sticking to what she thinks is going to work for her best right now because she's in, she's in hot water, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, so I think that's what's going on with her. But, but I'm, I'm, I was surprised that she didn't, you know, kick back at Dougie. I was surprised that she didn't bite back. She right. Bite back. She just, you know? She, she just kind of took it. And yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. She had a chance and a mo- she had a moment there where she could have just fought back and 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 yeah. she could have literally made a pact like, hey, listen, like we got to get this guy out. Look at this guy. He's you know he's he, he, what he did on his last season. You know you can use ex- examples of what he did last time and just how he talks this time. You could literally, if you're his target, you have nothing to lose. If he openly says you're the target, you have nothing to lose. Say your piece. Say everything you got to say. Because if I'm going home, I'm going to have walked this house and then I'll walk out <laughs> but I think what I would have done in that moment and it's going to be so messy but I as Janine if somebody told me oh somebody told me you made it my first thought is the only person that would tell you that is V right it was very obvious was to V so fast I would tell him that no this came from Spicy V didn't it and then obviously Dougie knows yes it did come <laughs> from Spicy V and so I would work on his mind you know there and be like do you think you really think that she knows that people are going to be going after her because she's what? She's a vet. She's trying to find safety. So she's creating this sister group, thinking that the girls are going to keep each other safe. And at the same time, she's going to be alliancing with you because you guys are vets. Do you not see what's happening here? Like, I would actually drive that has, thing home and get myself out of that situation. Has anybody actually said that they think it is V that, that did this? Or is no. she kind of... That's Nobody. wild. That's, right? that's wild to me. That's... <laughs> I'm annoyed. Yeah, that'd be my because first I instinct. House with new with 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 returnees, I I would be plotting. A, I would never let my guard down. Mm-hmm. Ever. Now, yeah. why do you think they picked Anthony and V uh, for for this season? If they're picking two people, why do you think they picked those two and not like any like you or anybody else? Why why do you think those two? Dougie, because I feel like he is ready. Dougie, Dougie was ready for this opportunity. I can see it by mm-hmm. the way that he's playing. V, because she's always ready to play. She never stops playing. Oh, yeah. She plays every day. Every day. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right? So I think it was perfect choicing. Um, let's say they had put on somebody from season 11. I honestly think it's too soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a back-to-back is, is not good. I, I, I agree. I think back-to-back is just not good. No, I, I, have, a, I have theories, too. Like I, I think my theory is... If, if they were to ever do an all-star season, let's just say, okay, first of all, I'd love to see you play. And that's the truth. I'd love to see you go back. That's just the honest truth. Um, yeah. Now, if, if they ever did an all-star season, you can't have, you know, Dane, Pike and Dougie. You can't have the three of them go back. You can't do that. No, no. You got to split the, and, and you obviously want to see them play again. So I, I think they took Anthony, put him here. Uh, and if they ever were to do an all-star season down the road, now they can, you know, entertain the fact of either Dane or Pike uh, because you're never, you're not going to have Dougie and Dane in the same season again. You're never going to see, because that this is not going to work. Nobody's going to let it happen and it's just not going to happen. So I, I think they, they, they took Doug and again, like you said, like, I, I mean, I'm not mad about it. I think Dougie's a great choice. I think it's a great choice. And I, and I'm, I love that, that he's back in there. I just think that, you know, if there ever were an all-star season on the road, you want to see Dane Pike or Anthony play again. 
And yes. you, this is your chance to do it. Get them on a season like this. And then if there's ever an all-star season on the road, then you can get the other one, whoever it is, you know? But yeah, it's uh, but yeah, and, and spicy V, like you said, she's always playing. She's always ready. She is like, she's breathing for this. So uh, for sure. Okay. I got one last question for you. Uh, Kuzi, what do you think about that executive veto? What do you think it is? What do you think the power is going to be? When is it coming out? I feel like that executive veto is going to be a veto that we vote for. I hope. I think so. Now, are you, here's the thing. Like I, I the fact that they haven't mentioned it at all they haven't said what it does they haven't said the day that it, that it's going to be in you know and and i and i my, this is why i'm speculating they're saving it for when either anthony or v are in danger then oh miraculously it's a vote canada vote for who you want to save oh by chance v or anthony's on the block by the way it's just coincidence you know what i mean do coincidence what? do you know what i feel like um i hope what they do with it is they don't tell us who the norms are oh right mm. and they make us vote for somebody to get the veto that'd be neat what that person's gonna do with it that would be fun that would be fun because then it's like you know exactly that'd be fun i just i yeah. feel like they're the fact that they haven't mentioned it at all and they're not saying what it does the date i feel like just like all the twists when you know they want to you know, oh it's time to turn it on guys you know it's like boom by the way here you go uh, oh just coincidence like, guys we know if we know beforehand we'll probably start you know twitter twitter fingers and oh yeah we're discussing it as the math is, but I, I think if they hit us by surprise and we don't know the nominees and we don't know the current setting of the house and we just... That'd know, be pretty sweet. On what's been good. That would be pretty sweet. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something else. I love... I love. I, I think it would be great. I, I agree. I just... I Listen, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Anthony get saved, but I mean, that's just me. But what are you going to do? Let me say something. I thought that... I don't think they would do that thing where they, they wait for like Anthony or, or Spicy to, to be in hot water. Then they, you know, throw that meter because that would have been the same. Like it, it, it would have been the, a scandal if they had done that last year. Cause you remember I had the most Wendy's points. Right. Mm -hmm. And for the longest time we thought it's maybe for like a buyback. Somebody will be bought back into the house. You get out there, you meet Arisa, Arisa says, actually, Skr, go back into the house because you're able to buy yourself life or you know somebody has right. brought you back into the game or somebody's been brought back from jury or something like that but i feel like that week of the wendy's points this is my own personal feeling if they had used it in, in that week while i was going uh, going home it would have looked biased as heck it, mm. they would have never lived down that accusation so I don't think that they would do that to themselves, especially given the whole fiasco of the feeds and the this and people wanting to boycott and all of mm. that. They wouldn't put themselves in, in, in hot water like that. Um, I don't know if you want to touch on this. What do you think about the digital days? I don't know if, if you don't want to touch on it, just say pass. Yeah. What do you think in digital dailies? Do you like the feeds or do you like no feeds? Like what, what are your thoughts on it? I'll give you my thoughts. You know what it is? I, I am doubling down on I like the digital dailies. You know why? Because already people have started talking rubbish on Twitter. Mm. People have already and, and you see like little moments from the house where maybe somebody will, will say something offside but didn't really mean it like that maybe, right. maybe somebody took it in a certain way and then boom the whole world knows about it and then it's now like this person has to defend themselves the amount that the, the the way i saw ty having to defend himself or the way that i see daniel having to defend himself the way that i also see like these horrible comments i am 100 percent for those deities because should people have access to everything that's going the, people don't deserve it people don't deserve it yeah that's that's the truth and there's got to be a measure of protection too right 100%. it's like big brother also wants to print like they're not trying to throw people in you know to the wolves and these days those wolves are so they are hungry you really, they are hungry yeah. they are hungry for a viral tweet yeah they're hungry for a viral moment 100 percent. yep that's what it is you know? it's 100 percent what it is uh, you know, I talked to a lot of the house guests that come out American Canadian and I was talking to, you know, a shout to Heisem, you know, uh, and, and he was telling me, you know, and he said it and he said this in an open group. It's not just a private chat. So I'm going to say this, uh, it wasn't in privacy, but yeah, like people were, were bombarding his, he was, he's a doctor and people were like giving him bad reviews on his, on his like site or everything over a stupid game like that's how you know it's just like it, it just people they don't know how to separate the two exactly. it's just a game exactly. guys it's just a bunch of people living in a house playing a game just relax exactly. you know people will give you the oh you signed up for this no no you don't sign up for that 
You sign up to play a game. That's what you sign up to. It's something I love. That's the dream. That's mm -hmm. it. It's like once I, once I'm out of the game, you now see my real personality. I'm yeah. maybe I'm nothing. I'm nothing near what you saw in the game. You yeah. know, and it's it's important for Big Brother to to also pr protect. And I feel like this is a measure of protection, and I'm here for it because. Yeah. It's that one comment that will tip somebody over the edge. I'm a 911 operator. I see a lot of things that, like things that you think are seemingly seemingly small, and it's just that one comment that will tip somebody over. Mm. And I, I 100% agree with them protecting the players like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I know it's not the popular answer, but I agree with you. I do agree with you. I think we, you're right. We do need a, a, some sort of protect, protection. People will say, "Oh, well, that it's not Big Brother anymore," and it's like, "Hey, listen, then if you don't like it, don't watch it. That's just the reality of it. It's just that's what the show it needs to do. It's it's the safety. It's the safety of the players on multiple levels. Yeah. Just the mental states and the just mm -hmm. everything. You know, their people lose their jobs, and it's just it's not worth it. And and uh, mm -hmm. I, I agree. I agree. I just I, I think it's it's not healthy for everybody if their feeds are on all the time for the players, yeah, the viewers. Yeah, it's just a different time now. Back in the day before social media, it was a different thing. Now it's just, like you said, people want that viral moment that it's, you know, it'll just, uh, that they catch it, they, they, they clip it, they put it on, and then, you know, that's what they want now. It's not even about the, the players anymore. It's, yeah, it's definitely evolved into something else. But I, I definitely agree with you on that. And I know it's not a popular answer, but I'm with you on that for sure. Mm -hmm. Kuzi, I want to say thank you so much for coming in. You're, you're, having me. you're amazing. This was great. I really enjoyed this. I, I, yeah, I, yeah let's do this again.